Hi everyone, this is Cherry Enchantress with your daily dust for Thursday, July 13th if you're watching in real time, but it can also be for whenever you stumble upon it. It is a timeless reading. This month though, however, I'm doing a romantic and love deck series, mostly tarot with a few um, romantic oracles thrown in there too. And the Casanova Tarot is it was one of those romantic decks, but it also borders a little bit on being kind of overtly sexual. So we have to be kind of careful here. <laughs> but um, it's a very it can be a very romantic deck. Uh, Casanova's story is is you know has its high points and low points, but um, yeah, it's basically based on love and good good feelings but it it didn't it didn't always turn out right all right I'm gonna take from the middle and I'll do my best to be a transparent here but if it's a card that I can't show you I, I won't be able to pull it for the thumbnail all right I'm gonna see what this one is right there Okay, good. <laughs> it is the King of Wands. Okay, nice, nice. And let's pull this card right here. And this one is good too. This one is the um, the Hanged Man. Okay. Pisces. And I'll take this one. There we have it. And the Ace of Swords. Okay, we're going to zoom in on that. And then I'll give you my message. So this King of Wands represents an entrepreneur, somebody who's honest, who's curious, who's benevolent, and has plenty of, of experience. They have a good nature, and they may up outwardly appear formal or proper or pull together, but they definitely have this very warm, bubbly, fun-loving energy inside underneath and sometimes I think you may be able to see it. I just feel like this is a professional who who behaves themselves usually in the certain forum but then the hanged man gives me vibes that sometimes they break the rules or they not maybe it's not breaking the rules but they they're adventurous. They go beyond the boundaries. I, you know what I'm getting of the feeling. So, wands people are like uh, fire signs, like Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. I'm getting a, a kind of a, a Sagittarius masculine energy of somebody who is kind of very handsome, beautiful smile, who works in the day, maybe wears suits, and and is is very. Uh, it could be kind of a Christian Grey energy, for one, but I think more of an athlete, um, somebody who who really pushes limits on the weekends. You know, they, they're very adventurous, they try new things, they just really go out and just, um, they do it, they just do it. They really hang in there and, and do stuff. Now, the hanged man definitely does represent things like sacrifice and surrender and transitions, but also it represents points of view and enlightenment and thinking outside the box. It, to me, represents the Pisces, but occasionally I also get Aquarius energy from from the hanged man because of their eccentricity, uh, the the way they just view things differently, you know, this more of an open-minded, expansive way of looking at the world. So it doesn't have to be any particular sign. It could be just anybody who's like that, a bit, a bit, um, maybe just a bit eccentric, but also very open-minded and somebody who, who, um, who seeks knowledge and then lets it enlighten them, that lets the knowledge flow to their head. So the hanged man is a man, it symbolized in tarot is a man hanging upside down and like the blood is flowing to his head, but his head is surrounded by a halo of light, which to me represents that after a certain period of time in a certain position um, with a certain amount of acceptance, then the enlightenment comes, and I feel like that could be the case. But, but, but a higher. But even though I, that's kind of like the higher energy here. I also feel just plain 
um, an adventure. I don't know, just an adventurous uh, fire sign willing to push the boundaries to go beyond what mo normal humans do. Kind of a Spider-Man energy, you know, kind of a superhero type guy. It could be very easily, um, yeah, like a Batman, like see this particular deck many of the men have wear masks and in the mask to me represents um, it's not just about hiding it's a bit of protection it's a bit of ambiguity it's a bit of um, letting a person get to know you your personality before they get to see you it could have something to do with um, some of your dating or a blind date or meeting somebody online without seeing them first or through some kind of dating app it could be something like that as well because we have the ace of swords and the Ace of Swords to me feels like, um, before we move on to the Ace of Swords, let me just tell you the story of Casanova in this picture here. So, um, <laughs> this is his famous escape from Piombi, the Leeds, the prison of Venice, which Casanova was maybe the only person to ever escape. So he actually escaped prison, which is a really interesting <laughs> take on this card and in, in this reading. There could be something that you subverted somehow. You managed to elude the, the authorities or uh, some kind of prosecution or some kind of coming down on you from, from some... Or your person of interest is like this man is... He just does definitely feels a very kind of superhero, but n more of a the elusive type, you know, more not so. It could even, yeah, but you know, to be honest, all the superheroes, you know, I'm just like, it's more like Superman because Superman's so straightforward. Yeah, he's Clark Kent by day and then Superman. And then I was thinking, well, he's more like Batman because, you know, but yeah, he's. This is a person that could be. He, he just has. Uh, a, one a day style and a night style maybe or he may be a professional and an athlete may, but he may be just do lots of things and and he, I feel like this person is very it's almost fearless like um, cheats death all the time because of all their crazy adventures all right so let's get to the ace of swords because I feel like um, whoever Whoever's watching this doesn't necessarily have to be the man, but it can be. But if you're interested in this man, then I feel that you, the Ace of Swords will explain how to handle this connection, this attraction. So the Ace of Swords is talking about awareness, the power to choose for oneself and others. It's about triumph and um, maybe a bit of revenge too. <laughs> so very interesting dynamics here. Some of you may re connect to this, resonate with this on a level that I don't really fully know because it feels a little like uh, some something that you did, but I don't I don't feel like it was in in the wrong. I just feel like uh, it was maybe a little bit outside normal parameters let's put it that way but you came out on top and you triumphed maybe there's a Bonnie and Clyde kind of um, connection with somebody or it could be somebody you're admiring did something that you thought was really cool um, it could be a simple day of watching a really cool movie as well. Um, I've, I've been getting, I'm a, a Star Wars nut, so I've been getting into Andor, and there is a lot of that, like trying to avoid um, escape. Actually, I just watched, I guess, spoiler alert, 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 spoiler alert. <laughs> he breaks out of prison, so... So there is that there is that uh, thing where you could be watching TV where somebody's breaking out of prison, um, literally. But there are, could also be just sort of this liberating feeling that you feel today, like, haha, you know, they I they didn't get me, or I'm feeling free, like I'm feeling unrestricted today. I can do whatever I want, you know. I don't have to follow their rules or whatever. Some kind of energy like that. And I feel like the the, the Ace of Swords is is more of um is more like that the feeling that you that you get when you do this or the feeling you get when you're observing somebody do this. This kind of um excitement, 
pride, triumph. Um, the aces represent new things, and swords represent something having to do with the mind, mind power, um, ideas, intuition. And, uh, it, it could be like, it could be uh, it, it just, it could be something having to do in work where you came up with an idea. It could, it could be something having to do at school where you had that kind of aha moment and then everything just fell into place. You kind of stepped outside the boundaries a bit to get to it, but you, you figured it out. Um, it could be a relationship situation. Maybe you, you just did something a little bit unusual and, and eccentric, which was the right idea. I feel like the Ace of Swords here is representing the fact that this was right. This seems like a really lovely, uh, triumphant day. So I hope you like that. Faith, trust, and pixie dust. Mm -hmm.